Hey guys, I'm Rich from NeoWint. They were talking about Windows 10 Mobile Build 14356. All right, so first things first, there is a case on this phone. I don't often use cases. This is that $4 case that they're selling on AliExpress. I will include the link in the description. All right, now on to the build. So there are a few features in this build. Um, we're getting really close to the anniversary update now. It's supposed to come next month, probably late less next month because the anniversary is July 29th. So expect less and less features in new builds. While there's few features in this build, they are some pretty good ones. All right, so the first thing is get notifications from your phone to your PC. All right, so we're going to go to the store for that, and we're going to download an app. Now, that is going to push the notification. What they say is Cortana will now surface your phone notifications and critical alerts, including messages from messaging services, SMS, or social media. Now, um, a lot of that is stuff that we have seen already. Um, SMS, we have messaging everywhere. We got that a few builds ago. Stuff like, I mean, missed call notifications, we've had that. I mean, you don't even need the Insider program for missed call notifications. So store notifications are something we haven't had. So let's download For the Love of Tech Pro. And we're going to see that notification get passed to the PC in a moment. All right, so it should finish installing soon. This new store seems to be really slow. So now we see it on the phone, and then it comes up on the PC almost immediately. So what's really cool... I, I think is really cool. Um, when you clear it from the action center here, all right, it's going to clear it from the phone as well. So let's open the notification center on the phone and clear it. And there it goes from the phone um, almost immediately. And this works with Android as well. You need to have Cortana version 1.7.1 if you're on Android. Um, they do provide download links for the US and China version. And that's about it. We're not going to go too deep into Android because you don't need an insider preview for that. All right, so next up, you can send a photo from your phone to your PC. Yeah, apparently those photos showed up in my OneDrive on June 2nd, which is not true, actually. I mean, that's very old files, which is odd. Anyway, um, so this feature is exclusive to Windows 10 phones. All right, by the way, the first photos that showed up here, you might notice the new... UWP Skype app. We're going to get to that in a bit. That's not actually a part of this build, but just so you know, we are going to get, we are going to, get to that because I do have the app on this phone. I'm going to show you. All right, so let's open up Cortana here, and let's tell her to send it to my PC. Cortana, send that picture to my PC. All right, and she's thinking. If you notice also, there's a new listening interface that we saw down here. All right, so it's thinking. So let's see if it actually does it. And we're going to choose the PC. That's the PC that we're running right now, and we're going to send it. All right, and I sent it. It may take a few minutes. Let's see if it shows up. And it shows up on the PC almost immediately. I mean, really immediately. By the time I looked up, it was up there. So that's that's fantastic how quick this stuff works. All right, and... Um, it might work, it probably works with video. I mean, it has to work with video too, but it's going to take longer. Um, so that new listening animation, let's just show that again, just in case you missed it before. Hi, Cortana. That's that new listening animation right down here. All right. And that is all that is new in this build. Um, we do have that Skype app that I was telling you about. I'm also not going to read off the fixes. I don't do that anymore. I mean, the fixes are just getting too long. We're getting very close now to the anniversary update, and they're just fixing stuff. I will read off the known issues in a bit. So Skype preview here, all right, that it replaces the Skype app when you install it. You can sideload this app. The links are out there, but if you do, just know that it's going to replace your regular Skype app and... It's going to be what you have. And there's a reason that it's that it's not installed by default. All right. So you notice that it actually looks pretty plain. Okay. Um, we pull in here. It just takes the whole screen. Again, that's, this is why they, they... I'm sure it's going to look different when it actually shows up on a build. All right. Um, it also supports the, the light and dark themes. All right. So now this is with the dark theme. Again, it's, it's just... It looks pretty basic to me. I'm sure it will get better. I actually have no doubt that it'll get better. Um, you can go to setup here, All right? And it's just, it's it's what you would expect from a basic app. It's in preview, and it's not even in preview. It's not even in public preview. So you got to give it a chance to get there. 
So anyway, known issues for mobile. Um, there's now five of them. There were three when it was first posted. We are continuing to investigate battery life issues impacting certain devices. We have fixed a few bugs that improve battery life, but we have more work to do here. All right, fair enough. We are investigating data issues with some dual SIM devices where cellular data doesn't work correctly with a second SIM. Several issues relating to cellular data with dual SIM devices have been reported by insiders with the last two mobile builds, and we're investigating these reports. In some cases, the new Cortana features highlighted above may not work. Restarting your phone should fix the issue and get the, the features working. They worked fine for me, but then again, I've restarted my phone last um, a few times since then. Um, by the way, in the last video I made, I, I had a lot of trouble with the new Cortana features, and I was, you know, people made fun of me. Oh, you didn't restart your phone before doing it? You didn't read the note? I, I mean, I do restart my phone frequently, so it's, it's definitely not that. All right, after the, these are the two new ones. Um, after installing this build, you may notice your quick actions icons are not in the same order. This is a side effect of the fix of changes we made to Action Center. To rearrange your icons to the preferred order, just go to Setting System, Notification and Actions, Quick Actions, and Touch Hold, and then drag to rearrange the icons to whatever position you want. Remember, the four items in the top row are what will show as your immediately viewable quick actions. Uh, this next one was added today. Your phone, uh, your phone make freeze after touching the screen immediately after enabling narrator. Um, yeah, if you use narrator, you might want to avoid this build. Um, so that's about it. Um, I look forward to getting many more builds out to Windows Insiders. And if you're not aware, Gabe All has left us. And he's been replaced by Donna Sarkar. And she seems fantastic so far. Um, you can read about her in many places. She actually seems to, she might be Superwoman, considering that she, she does pretty much everything. Anyway, guys, that's it. Um, now, if, if you want to hear about the build, you shouldn't be following Gabe anymore. You should be following Donna Zarkar. Anyway, guys, I'm Richard Neowin. Have a great night.